Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. So today for Disney Fan Wednesday, we're gonna look at set number two of the Midnight Masquerade Disney Designer Collection pins. These are the princesses masks. So stay tuned because the details on these are phenomenal and I don't want you to miss out on them. All right, so like I said, we're gonna look at series two. Uh, this is the second set of pins that released for the Midnight Masquerade Disney Designer Series that has been releasing since D23, basically. These are not to be confused with the D23 exclusives that feature Giselle, Aurora, and Tiana's masks. These are the ones that are releasing at the Disney Store, the dolls that are releasing at the Disney Store. So that is what these ones represent. There are, of course, five of them. They're on the same kind of board that the princess pins were on. These were a little bit more, they were $49.95. So you can see here now we have the masks on top and the princesses below. Last week's video did feature the princess pins. I will link to that right up here so that you can take a look at it and probably at the end of the video too, just in case you missed that. But uh, yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at each one of these pins individually. They do have multiple pin backs on here. So bear with me as we go through them one by one because this is gonna be kind of fun getting them all off here. Okay, so the first one we're gonna take a look at, and I'm gonna do it very similar like I did the last one, I'm gonna go in order of the doll's release, is um, the Esmeralda. So here is Esmeralda's mask pin, very beautiful, very thick pin, like these pins are exceptionally thick. And what I love about them is, is they are rounded, of course, to fit like a mask. They do have the cutouts for the eyes, so you can see there, yeah, as I put them against something darker, you can see the cutouts. But these are made to look just like the doll's masks. So we've got the feathers. There are um, some inlaid jewels right here and right here. There's the ribbons coming down on the side. Um, on the back, it does say limited release and then Disney and also pin trading. So if you want to look at that, there you can. Um, but yeah, these are like, you can see there's one, two, three. There's two jewels and one, two, three, four spots of colored enamel so like right here there's a couple little gold spots that have gold glitter um really cool yeah right here i'm sorry it's on the other side and then uh there's a red spot down here that has some enamel in it too to make it look like a jewel but very beautiful pin all the same i'm really impressed like these are very hefty pins they are not light by any means i know why these were 50 bucks because it's basically 10 bucks a pin and you can't beat that at a pin of this caliber so i'm gonna put this one back on and then what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna get off bell's pin as soon as i can get esmeralda's back on um these pins you got to put them on like perfectly otherwise they don't go through the holes on the board but um the, i think bell's pin is probably the heaviest it is the biggest one out of all of them gotta make sure i'm taking off the right backs here there we go yes okay so here's bell's pin and wow it really is something so there's two jewels three four jewels four jewels yes and then some red enamel and then just a whole lot of gold metal so there is Bell's pin. There's so much surface area, it almost is hard to see everything that's going on. But of course we have the tassels here. Um, it is of course bent and curved to, uh, let me see if I can get that up here. So you can see like it does not lay flat at all. Um, you can really tell on the back, it's like, whoa, that's almost bent in half. But it does have two pin posts, one here, one here. And then of course it does state limited release, Disney Pin Trading 2019 and Disney, they're all on the back. Uh, but it does have the roses there. So there's one here, one there, one there, and one there. And then her cutouts are a little harder to see as they are teeny tiny. If I hold it up against my shirt, maybe you can see them. Yeah, see, there's one right there. They are really, really small in bells. I don't know if it's just because of the intricacy of the rest of the pin or what. But um, bells pin is crazy huge and probably, like I said, the heaviest of the bunch. But still a very, very nice pin. I do like this one quite a bit. If I remember correctly, this set is still available on Shop Disney. Um, I know that the Princess set had sold out. I don't know if it's back in stock or not, but I do know a lot of the stores do still have the Princess set. I know the one in Columbus did. Um, I don't know if they still have the mask set or not, but um, yeah, if you can grab them because they are really, they are very, very nice pins. The next one we're gonna look at is Cinderella's and Cinderella's has some blue sparkle enamel and then it has two purple gems and then um, hers is actually silver, um, which of course fits in with the color of her dress, but it's the only silver pin in the whole lineup. So there is Cinderella's, it's much smaller. It's more the size of Esmeralda's and I love the color on it. We've got some really baby blue enamel work here, some navy blue enamel work. You can see there, there's a big purple gem right here. There's another one right there. Absolutely beautiful pin. I think, 
Hers is my favorite mask. I'm looking because she's right. Yeah, you can see her right above Kristoff's head. Um, it's right. Yeah, it is my favorite one, I think, out of all of them. But I like it in pin form better than what's on the doll because they can obviously do a little bit more uh, on these. But I do love that pin very, very much. And I love even more that, I mean, this is the detail. They they wove, wove the um, tassel around the bottom wand portion of hers. Just looks really, really nice. Oh my God, these things are crazy to get back on the bar. Okay, sorry about that. I lost the pin back. I couldn't find it, but I was able to find it. So now we're going to take a look at Megara's. And Meg has another smaller mask. Hers is more in line with Cinderella and Esmeralda. Um, and a little more simpler too, I did, I did notice, but I do love hers. Um, I haven't really looked, I've had these for a while and I haven't really looked at them. She has two little purple gems and then some purple enamel. And then there's some Greek like design pattern going on at the top of the mask. A beautiful pin. Let me switch hands here. Absolutely gorgeous pin. Really do love this one quite a bit. Very big pin. Um, but yeah, lots of detail. Very, very gorgeous. And right, right along here is where, like up at the top, is where the little uh, Greek part, it has a dark purple enamel, which is just beautiful. So I do like that pin quite a bit. Um, these pins are just, they are really something. I'm very surprised at how, how well they're done and uh, the heftiness of them. They are some heavy, heavy pins. So the last one we're gonna look at then on this pin set is of course Rapunzel's, if I can get it off the board here. Um, hers is similar to Belle's in size, but uh, it's not quite as big. Now this is the doll that I did skip, um, I, but her pin is gorgeous. <laughs> Both of her pens are gorgeous, truthfully. So it does have what looks like her hair over here cascading down. And then, of course, it's covered in flowers, big flowers. Um, it's got a pink uh, teardrop-shaped gem and then some purple ones all throughout it. Beautiful pin. Absolutely love it. It's massive. Let me see if I can swap hands here. Massive, massive pin, but so gorgeous. All the enamel work, all the different um, little nicks and crannies and stuff in there. Just a beautiful, beautiful pin. Really do like it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is hilarious. I didn't even mean to do that until I just realized that's what I was doing. But there is that pin and holy smokes. It's, I do love her pin quite a bit. Um, I love all the enamel work on it. I love the gems. I love the style of it. it to me, it screams Rapunzel. So that is the um, Midnight Masquerade Designer Series Pin Mask Set. Uh, like I said, as far as I know, these are still available on shopdisney.com and in most Disney stores. So if you would like to pick up a set, I'm sure you'll be able to without any problems. These are limited release, not limited edition. So they are going to be available, I think, for probably some time. In the past, have always been limited edition or only available at D23. I like that that's not the case this year. So I do... I do really, I mean, I guess I should say, I'm really glad that we were able to get these without having to pay an arm and a leg. Uh, 10 bucks a pin is nothing, truthfully, for a good Disney pin. And these are definitely amazing Disney pins. So definitely grab them if you can, guys. If you have any questions about this pin set or any other item that I've shown or some of the items behind me, uh, definitely those comments down below. I'll be more than happy to go over it with you. And you never know, I might have a video coming up on it as well. So lots of fun. So definitely stay tuned. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you know my videos do come out. I post at least two to three times a week if I can, just depends on time, but I do try to get them out at least Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and it's always Disney all the time, and we have a blast, guys, so I hope you will consider joining the family. Alrighty, guys, again, if you enjoyed, thumbs up, comments down below. I hope you're all having a very magical day, and we will see you real soon. Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. So today for Disney Pin Wednesday, we're gonna look at my cat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>